So much of, of what seems to be in is personality driven or opinion driven. What what what's your take? Sometimes on that? people I mean, say, you know, when you moved on from the morning show, and I always say, I didn't move on. I got fired. I was fired <laughs> off the morning show. I mean, let's just you know call it what it is. The numbers weren't there, and I was always very aware in television news. You know, there's a correlation. You know, if if your numbers aren't there, they always do. What order would you say that? First, they change the set, then they change the producer, then they fire the talent. That's what happens. I mean, that's the reality. So you know when things are, you know, when things are struggling. So when you saw that set change, you're like, uh oh, I knew, I knew what was coming next. <laughs> uh oh, um, but you know, I, and I think all those things were done to see how do we make the show better, how do we make the product better. I love doing that show. I really enjoy doing morning television. I love waking up a morning person, and I love waking up with an agenda for, you know, good morning. You've all been sleeping. Here's what's happened. I felt that that was very clear in my head how to do that well. But I also understood. I mean, it was what was hard for me was I felt very adrift in you know what I should do because there was I was I was promoted actually to do documentaries, but there was no documentaries being done. So you know it was one of those I, I literally would go to the gym all day and you do yoga and I, I had nothing to do and, and it was ve that was very very hard. I mean it was, certainly wasn't wasn't easy, but I wasn't surprised. I mean I think that's kind of the nature of the beast in our business. Um, you know, it had not happened to me before, but I'd certainly seen it happen to other people. And if they felt like the numbers weren't there and I was given a chance to bring the numbers up and we didn't do it. For, and I don't, you know, again, I never thought it was my fault. I thought the reporting I was doing was, was as good as the reporting I was doing when our numbers were great and we were covering Katrina, that my strength was, you know, was still my strength. I didn't internalize or personalize it. But it was sort of the you're, reality you're of the strong, business. You're a strong woman. I would have been crying no, <laughs> in my you know, yoga class. A healthy ego. No, I, I, you know, I mean, it was... What was hard was being adrift from having something to do. You know, that I find hard. Mm -hmm. That's hard to not. When, when we, I had a show that we were doing um, that was focused on technology called The Site that aired on MSNBC when the channel first launched. And when they canceled that show, which was a show that actually was, was doing pretty well and was a good show, was all about technology when the channel was brand new, a same thing. I felt I had a job still, but I had nothing to do. And they said, well, you could stay in San Francisco, but we had no bureau in San Francisco. It was just weird, you know. So the adrift part is always harder for me. I never felt like my talent had somehow declined and I was awful now. I just felt like, well, you know, what, what am I, I going to get up and do this morning? What do I do? That was hard.